Andrew, I'll turn to you. Um, not a China bear. You are not. So even with everything that's that's happening now, you don't you don't get the sense a, a little discomfort in the in the stomach. Well, there is <laughs> a little discomfort, but I do think it's maybe the, what you said before a little bit more theater than anything. Never lose sight of the fact that the Chinese government needs the economy to recover. And it's taken longer than our post-COVID recovery, but they need to keep the economy moving, people moving upwards and to the right. But I'm going to say something controversial. <sighs> what if they can't? We know they need to, but they're, they're, like Yuna said, part of it is a choice, right? They're not doing the knee-jerk, you know, everything possible to throw money at the problem, make it go away. But like analysts like Derek Scissors have been pointing out, these problems are 15 years in the making. Right. Maybe there's just not much they can do, especially on the demographic front. Right, but uh, what you asked me were, were, are they going to do things that would shoot themselves in the foot? And I'm not sure that's happening. Mm -hmm. So this reminds me a little bit more of early in this Trump presidency when there were these same issues and then they dissipated as we moved on to other issues. I, my sense, which is not to say I think that's a real concern. Demographics is, a, is an issue. But never underestimate the consumption desire as you move into the middle class. I think that's a huge demographic commentary that you have to keep in mind. But would you, as, as we talk about kind of the investment angle on this, there you could do something broad with Chinese stocks, which seems maybe the most risky because it's underperformed for a very long time. You could do something tactical. I mean, we always hear play the Chinese middle class, play the Chinese consumer, play the Chinese. What, what do you think is the right kind of tactical move here? I think it's to play the Chinese consumer. And whether that's in consumption companies in China or that's global consumer companies, I'm still willing to bet on that over time. And I like what J Jim Cramer said last night, let's wait for the data, let's actually see the facts before we overreact. Do you give names or you just, you know? Well, I, th I think the, you know, we'll get into this, I'm sure, but I sure. think these luxury names in Europe, which have sold off recently, are very intriguing because I do believe there is a desire to walk around at that handbag LVMH that says, and Gucci. I've arrived, yes. I've arrived. <laughs> All right, we'll circle back to that in a minute.